Amy's basketball practice started at 8.15. Our analog clock shows it's 8, 5, 10, 15, 8.15. Now we're going to move the minute and the hour hand as needed to get to 10.22. Let's move the minute hand one full hour. One full hour has 60 minutes. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I move the minute hand 60 minutes or one hour. My hour hand moved from 8 to 9. My new time is 9.15. From 8.15 to 9.15 was one hour. Practice finished at 10.22, so we're not done yet. Let's move the minute hand another hour. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. One hour later, it is 10.15. So from 9.15, to 10.15, it was one hour. But we're not finished. Practice finished at 10.22 and we're at 10.15. Let's move the minute hand. 10.15 to 10.20, that's five minutes. But we're not finished yet. 10.20, 10.21, 10.22. From 10.20 to 10.22, that was two minutes. Let's look at the table to see how long Amy's practice was. I look at my minutes. Five minutes and two minutes is seven minutes. One hour and another hour, that's two hours. Amy's basketball practice was two hours and seven minutes long. Let's use an open number line or timeline to show how long Amy's practice was. First, I'll write the start time, 8.15. Then I'll write the ending time, 10.22. Now I will jump forward from 8.15 to 10.22 to see how much time has passed. From 8.15, I'll jump two hours. And two hours is 9.15 is one, 10.15 is two, 10.15. From 10.15, I'll jump forward five minutes. And that is 10.20. From 10.20, I'll jump forward two minutes. And that is 